A very good morning to all my dear future budding chartered accountants. A very good morning to all of you, dear students. Once again, on behalf of Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, I welcome all of you for this interesting and interactive session today that we're going to start for business law. I hope you all are equally excited and waiting for the class to begin. So as I always tell my students, be ready with your pens, papers, notebooks in hand so that whenever the teacher is teaching you something, you should be eagerly ready to make the notes as well. So good morning, Nishi, Abhishek, Ranjit, Santoshi, Anand Goyal, Vaseem, Divya, Preeti, Heman, Vikash, all of you, good morning, students. Himanshu, Abir, Priyanka, Pallavi, I know you all are very excited for today's session. And quickly, before we begin the session, can you tell me what is the chapter and the unit that we're going to start with today in today's class? Let me see how intelligent my students are and how well they have been attending the classes. Quickly name me the chapter that we are going to start. Good morning, Anand, Mohammed, Inder, Divyan, Shrani, Sujau, Chandan, Vivek, Anand, Homera, everyone. Good morning, students. So, absolutely correct. Those who have written the correct name of the chapter today, we will be starting with the sale of goods. I understand you have already completed the first chapter, that is first uh, unit one of Indian Contract Act. That is already completed. You have done it with sir. And now we'll be starting with the sale of goods. Soga unit one, that's correct. Sonam, Ranjit, Rani, all of you, formation of contract of sale. But before we begin with the session, I want to congratulate once, or, once again to all of you that you have chosen such a great, prestigious course. And I hope you all are staying highly motivated and studying well in order to prepare for your exams. So here's let's have a quick warm up e exercise before we start with the formation of contract of sale. What is the meaning of contract? Can you all let me know? You all have been studying contract. So, Kwani, quickly let me know the meaning of contract. What do you understand by the word contract? You all know what is law. Law are the rules and regulations that are framed in order to follow certain rights have been given by Indian constitution. And similarly, the law has been made when both the House of Parliament passes the rule book is made and they have agreed to that rule book then it becomes certain law which has to be followed by each and every Indian citizen like we have the traffic rules you cannot cross the red lights without um, uh, if you do so Chalan will be deducted traffic rules have to be followed similarly and uh, CA also under foundation course also we have different four types of laws that we'll be understanding that is your Indian Contract Act, Sale of Goods Act. These are all basic laws which have been made, certain rules and regulations that we need to follow for certain commercial transactions. So let me see how many of you have answered the meaning of contract. Welcome, Sanya Khan. Thank you so much. Prince Kumar, I'm glad it's your first class. Definitely, we'll try to make it very much nice and good for you. Absolute correct answer. Almost everyone has given the correct answer. Contract is an agreement enforceable contract um, by law. Absolutely con correct. Rani is writing contract is agreement plus enforceability by law. So very well understood students. So by now, you all know the meaning of contract. We have act pada hai Indian Contract Act. You have understood that contract is an agreement that is enforceable by uh, law which you can enforce so this is what we're going to understand uh, how law is made and how the contract moves on uh, first of all let me just give you a basic introduction of sale of goods and then I just want to speak about certain other things also so sale of goods act 1930 was also part of your Indian contract act children so when this Indian Contract Act was made in 1872, it has sale of goods also and Indian partnership also. So all the transactions, that is the commercial transaction related to sale and purchase were also included in the Indian Contract Act. So whenever any buyer and seller, can you see this Uncle G getting money for the stuff and the other boy, he's happy to get the go give the goods and get the money in exchange. 
So whenever such monetary exchange transactions are involved, that is known as sale. Sale is a general term that we used in a day-to-day -day life. आप मार्केट गए आपने स्वीट खरीदी आपने शॉपकीपर को पैसे दिया सेल हो गया आपने शॉपकीपर को पैसा नहीं दिया और स्वीट्स लेकर भाग गए तो सेल में कॉन्ट्रोवेंशन आ सकती है प्रॉब्लम आ सकती है उस केस में सेलर को कोई लॉ रेफर करना पड़ेगा तो वो जो लॉ रेफर करना पड़ता था वो उसे इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट में जाकर सेल ऑफ गुड्स की प्रोविजन देखनी पड़ती थी सो इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट वॉज इन इट सेल्फ अ वेरी ह्यूज बुक एंड इट वॉज ऑल्सो हैविंग सेल एंड पार्टनरशिप ऑल्सो so government decided in the year 1930 why not let's take out the sale of goods from the indian contract act and let's make it a separate act all together so that tomorrow any contraventions happens between the buyer and seller they will simply go to the sale of goods act and they will refer to it similarly all the provisions of partnership also were taken out from the indian contract act and separate partnership act 1932 was formed so now we have indian contract act for all the commercial transactions for all your uh, different kind of contracts that you are forming you have very rightly mentioned it's an agreement enforceable by law so hum contract mein padh kar aaye hain ki koi bhi agar hum kisi ke sath agreement kar rahe hain vaada kar rahe hain promise kar rahe hain jo ki hame fulfill karna hai uska agar hum breach karte hain breach means not to fulfill it so the parties can refer to the indian contract act and whatever actions and rights are given over there we can enforce it so all your essential elements uh, offer acceptance consideration capacity to parties competency of parties all this is a part of contract which is again a part of sale of goods also kyunki sale of goods act kahan se nikla hai sale of goods act indian contract act mein se hi nikal kar aaya hai so as you always say ma'am we don't understand english we don't understand hindi so i'll make sure i use both the languages so that the concept becomes clear to all the students who are here with us today all right so this is the foundation this is the lay down of formation of contract of sale how it was formed it was taken from the indian contract so it is not something which is very very new it is something which has the basis lay down in indian contract act only so again similar kind of things we have to remember but many new and interesting examples many new different definitions will be coming up in sale of goods act and how breach is handled in sale of goods act that is also we will be understanding when we reach the last chapter but as you always know if you could have visited or seen my lectures before also i always love to begin my session with a beautiful quote so here today i have a quote from albert einstein who said a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new so i always tell my students uh, you have taken a very good decision a very nice decision to be a chartered accountant in your future um, life in your career so lot of hard work is involved so when i say hard work discipline being consistent with your studies you must have been hearing all the teachers we just come and tell you all these kind of things because that is uh, um, the uh, basis that is very important like i, I uh, when sir taught you that the syrup for success what is that that is the hard work that you have to lay down so all these things are very important so when if you have not tried only if you have not made an effort only how can you see what is your worth so in order to see our hidden talents in order to see our hidden worth we need to first try out for a thing and when you are trying out for the ca course always remember you have to visualize success now i want all of you to pay 100% attention to words this lecture if you are just roaming here and there or doing some other work just leave it aside and 100% concentration i want in this class because this is the only platform through which we are connected i can't see you physically but yes mentally we all are connected with the slide with each other so let's focus on what ma'am is trying to tell you it says hard work is the key to success let me tell you students success is in your mindset how many of you believe in manifestations do you know the meaning of manifestations ha main ye kar sakta hu yes i can do it i have the urge to do ca i want to do chartered accountancy course 
I really want to achieve this thing in life. These are the short term goals which you have to fix in your mind as well as in your life right now when you have taken a decision to be a CA. Now, in order to achieve that, I wrote in a notebook mein likh diya that yes, I want to be a chartered accountant and I closed it. And I did not study. Then things are not going to happen. God is not going to come and uh, clear your exams. That is definitely not going to happen. Yes, if I have manifested, I have written in my notebook, I am going to be a chartered accountant in future. Then my regular hard work is being counted. He's watching you. He's seeing whether you're studying or not. If you're just busy sitting on the Netflix and watching movies turn by turn and you're not paying attention on your studies, nobody can help you. But if you're regular with your studies, you have revised what you, what the teacher has made you done. See, students nowadays, in CA, we don't have any regular school or college. But still, you should be thankful to the institute. They are making an effort that every teacher is coming at your doorstep and making you write the notes, making helping you prepare with each and everything. So once you have done the chapters with the teachers, make 100% surety that you revise the content then and that the same day. You will never ever forget it. I can assure you for that. So that is the meaning of hard work. I have teachers, then I have to revise bhi kara. And making of notes is the very, very important thing as far as law is concerned. If you write it, it's written over here. Ek bar likh diya na, dimag mein chhap jata hai, wo answer aap kabhi nahi bhool sakte. And secondly, writing of answers, presentation of answers is very important. Many a time students come back to me, ma'am, I prepared everything, but uh, I've still failed. So that is the crux. That is the reason why you don't, why you fail, because you don't know how to attempt the answers. So in these classes, we'll be teaching you how you have to perform the descriptive questions, how you have to break up the answers into different paragraphs. Pay attention to those answers. When I give you homework that student, this is the question that you have to try doing it from the home. Practically, it's not possible to see the work that you have done. But yes, I can make you understand that this is what you have to do. And you have to give me surety. Definitely, ma'am, we'll be doing it in the same. So that is how the success happens and comes to your footsteps. You have to make an effort. You have to make a promise to yourself. I will be regular with my studies. I am going to revise what the teacher has taught me. I will be making my notes. <clears throat> so there are, these are the certain steps that you have to remember. Make an effective study plan, allocating hours. It says hours, I say don't do it hourly basis. Do it topic wise. Today I'm going to finish off this topic. That's it. I have to complete it. Sometimes Mr. A's student will take two hours to complete a particular topic. Mr. B might finish it within half an hour. So do it topic wise. Who he will think that, oh, I just spent half an hour. Now I have to do something more. So you should be careful about analyzing your capabilities, how much time is required for a certain topic. So whenever you make your effective study plan, try to make it topic-wise so that you know how many hours you're allocating to each subject and how much is your worth of understanding and doing it practical. Revision is must, as we always say. And all the mock test papers, revision test papers will be taken only after completion of things. So I always tell my students, don't think that I have done a chapter today, I have done MTPs and RTPs, I have done a lot of knowledge on my test. Karta You'll always find it very confusing and difficult. Why? Because mock test papers and revision test papers has all the syllabus questions from the all the whole the syllabus. So only once you are done with the syllabus or maybe we have done with the sale of goods, so we will pick up the questions from the mock test papers, which are wholly relevant to sale of We will not be weeping into LLP. We will not be looking into partnership unless we have completed those chapters. Then it becomes capable of um, seeing how well you know, how well you have understood your subject. So, notebooks I can do it and I will do it. You all have to keep those spirits high. Be very positive about your subjects whenever you're studying law especially. I find it boring. It's theory. Ye hai, wo hai. Humne ab, agar aisa mindset se padhna na, to kabi padhai ho nahi paayegi. Let me tell you very honest. So the moment I pick up my uh, this uh, study material, I have to fall in love with this. 
nothing is going to come out of your study material it is entire syllabus in your new study material everything will be coming from your study material itself study material is the bible for all of you you need not need to refer or go to any other kind of books all right so we have well understood how you have to prepare because you always ask me ma'am in between give us some tips how we have to prepare so i thought that let's start the session only from making you highly motivated and positive thoughts and now i hope you all are very nicely geared up with your books pens pencils you are ready and we begin with the session further we move with the session ahead formation of contract of sale i have already explained you how the formation was laid down we have taken the extracted the contract from the sale of goods uh, from the indian contract itself all right definitely uh, mr abhat hart shinde you will definitely clear it for june don't worry at all thank you ranjit i am glad you enjoyed the motivational talk and this is something which makes me feel very happy uh, yes uh, tambeshwari says law is very interesting subject uh, it is definitely so that is what you have to keep telling and reminding yourself that yes law is a very good subject it is very interesting thank you so much nitya shri all right yes mr suraj this is our first lecture for sale of goods and now we will be completing sale of goods and after that we will move ahead to partnership okay students so it came into force on 1st july 1930 now let's begin and understand how the sale of goods is applicable the applicability of sale of goods is only to the movable property so number 1 thing that we have to remember is movable properties movable properties ka matlab kya hota hai beta something which can be moved from one place to another jisko ek jagah se dusri jagah tak le jaya ja sakta hai so something which can be moved so for example you went to purchase a refrigerator for your house so can we say sale of goods is applicable to it or maybe a washing machine so yes sale of goods is applicable because a refrigerator can be moved from one place to another machinery can be moved from one place to another the goods that you go to the grocery store your sweets chocolates biscuits everything that you purchase you you online place your order for pizza delivery so the pizza guy comes and the zomato guy comes and gives you the delivery that is a movable goods all these goods which can be moved from one place to another are sale of goods is applicable but if i ask you if i am going i have a building i have a house in noida and i am going to sell that house uh, in noida to a person who is staying in mumbai i am going to sell my house in noida sale of goods is applicable to my sale of house yes or no sale of house what is house house is a movable or it is immovable friends kumar how to make notes so very interesting question whenever teacher is teaching you something be uh, pay full attention anything you feel that movable property ma'am has said write it down immovable property i have written it is not applicable ma'am is asking you certain questions keep on writing down a draft pre prepare karte jaya karo jab jab teacher aapko padha rahi ho uske baad once you have started open your books revise your content and chapter wise you should make your notes okay i will tell you how you have to mark it with different pens but as of now let's keep moving thank you sanya thank you bipin singh thank you bebe thank you preeti all of you okay yes no is the correct answer yes chandan says ma'am because it is an immovable property excellent when you give me answers i feel super proud because isse mujhe pata lagta hai ki bacche dhyan se sun pa rahe hain so immovable property maine kaha mera ghar hai noida mein all those who were asking in hindi मेरा घर नोएडा में है मैं उसको बेच रही हूँ तो उसको सेल ऑफ गुड्स एप्लीकेबल नहीं है क्यों क्योंकि वो इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी है इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी होती है जैसे कि लैंड बिल्डिंग कोल माइंस कोई इस तरह की बिल्डिंग बिल्डिंग को हम एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ले जा तो नहीं ना सकते सो दैट इज द फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉरेस्ट एरिया यू कैन कट द ट्रीज यू कैन सेल इट इन द मार्केट बट इंटायर फॉरेस्ट के नॉट बी टेकन एंड सोल्ड टू एन अदर प्लेस सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स विच आर अटैच एंड फॉर्मिंग द पार्ट ऑफ लैंड आर नोन एज इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टीज to such immovable properties transfer of property act is applicable which you will be doing somewhere in your finals so sale of goods is not applicable sirf hame itna yaad rakhna hai so point number 1 sale of goods came out from indian contract act point number 2 1st july 1938 became applicable 
So before 1930, we were following it from the Indian Contract Act. Point number three, sale of goods is applicable only to the movable properties. And point number four, it is not applicable to the immovable properties. Clear. Let's move ahead. Now, what are the topics that we'll be covering over here? The topics that we are going to cover over here are definitions. We'll be having different definitions in this chapter. Differences between sale and agreement to sell. How the sale is different from different types of other contracts. So let us understand first the term sale and agreement to sell. Whenever we talk about sale, so what is sale? When I say sale, <clears throat> so let's say one party is selling the goods to another. Okay, let me just open it over here. When one party is selling the goods to another, suppose A sell the goods to B. Okay, A sell the goods to B. So here A is the seller and the person to whom the goods are sold are buyer B. That's correct. A sell goods. What is B going to pay him in return? Cash or goods? What do you say? A ne goods beche B ko. B in return me cash pay karega ya goods pay karega for the purpose of sale of goods. Should we pay cash or can he also exchange the goods in exchange of goods? Tell me. Tell me your answer. Definitely, we will be conducting quiz also. Valambhani, that is what we are doing along with the chapter also. Yes, the, we are, all of your comments are visible, visible. Yes, tell me students. Shall he pay cash in exchange of the goods or can he give goods also in exchange of it? Cash, yes. Chandan is saying goods also. No ma'am, barter system. Other than, very good. Excellent. Barter system is not part of sale of goods. Barter system ka matlab kya hota hai? Exchanging goods in exchange of goods. So that is not part of sale of goods act. So we always have to pay monetary consideration, cash, check or any other kind of payment. But paisa dena padega goods ke badle mein in order to make sale of goods applicable. Cash and goods both you are paying that is also valid. Okay. So say for example the goods were 50,000 rupees worth. Okay, so you said that I don't have full cash 50,000 right now with me. I will give you, I will give you 50,000, uh, 20,000 in cash and 30,000 worth I'm giving you goods. So that is also absolutely fine as far as you are making the payment for full 50,000. Some cash is also involved. So now this kind of transaction children is known as uh, sale of goods where you're actually selling the goods and you're making it uh possible okay <clears throat> now what happens is suppose you came to my shop and i am a shoe seller sketcher ki shop mein chalte hai na sketcher ki shoes achhe lagte hai adidas ke sketcher ke purchase karenge aaj so let's take the name of uh, somebody from here mr anand sahu Mr. Anand Sahu came to my shop. Abhishek, we will be using both the languages, Hindi and English. Sara lectures Hindi mein nahi kar sakte. Aap dhyan se koshish kariye samajhne ki because we have students from South also. They do not understand Hindi. So English is the common language. But jahan par aapko Abhishek nahi samajh aayega, pooch sakte hai Hindi mein koi bhi chiz. Okay. Mr. Anand Sahu came to my shop and he said that, ma'am, I want a shoe from your shop which should be of size uh, Five and a half. So, sir, ka size hai, five and a half shoe ka size. Hai. Boys ka generally six and seven. Hota hai. Five and a half is chota rajega. Chalo. Anand wants the shoe size of seven number. I showed him various sizes of five, six, and my shop is having right now size of eight. Eight is bigger to Mr. Anand and six is smaller to him. So, we thought that seven is the absolute correct size and he liked particular shoe a lot. He really, uh, usko baut achcha laga wo shoes and usne bola ki ma'am, Harleen ma'am, this is your shop. I will come after 10 days 
and please give me this shoe of seven sides. So I said, Anand is a buyer over here with me and her lean ma'am is the seller. I said, look, Anand, we don't have this shoe size of seven number right now. I will get it produced in my factory. Once the factory outlets give it to me over here, you can come and collect it. So I gave him the timing of 10 days. Why don't you come after 10 days and you can collect this shoe size seven number from my shop. Have I made a sale? Was there any sale between Harleen and Mr. Anand? Something, a transaction related to sale has happened. But no, ma'am, there was not an actual sale. But I have made an agreement to sell. I have made him a promise that, you know, after 10 days, I am going to sell. I am going to give this uh, particular show to you. So such a case where seller has agreed to sell the goods and buyer, Anand, has agreed that he will come and buy the goods from my shop. This kind of arrangement is known as agreement to sell. And such agreement to sell always take place at a future date. It will never happen spontaneously. It always takes place at a future date. So what is sale? Sale is when the buyer is when the seller is selling the goods to the buyer immediately. Please write it down. When the seller is selling the goods to the buyer immediately, sale is set to take place. However, <laughs> however, where the seller agrees to sell the goods, where the seller agrees to sell the goods to the buyer on a future date, on a future date, it is known as agreement to sell. Clear? Ho gaya? So this is the basic thing which we need to understand that you know, who is, uh, what is sale and what is agreement to sell. Why I have explained you? Because that is how you can understand the definition of who is a seller, who is a buyer. So seller is the person who sells the goods or agrees to sell. So Harleen ma'am agreed to sell the goods on a future date. Then also I become a seller. So buyer Anand agreed to buy the goods at a future date. Then also he becomes a buyer. So one is the case of sale. Another is the case of agreement to sell. So in example, A agrees to sell 50 bales of cotton on 10th January 2023. So in a particular date, if somebody is giving, so A becomes the seller and B becomes the buyer. So even if you're selling or you're agreeing to sell, both the cases you become the buyer and the seller. I give you one minute, just see the slide. Yes, in agreement to sell, goods are not transferred immediately, they are transferred on a future date. Credit sales are also part of sale of goods, Miss Anjali. We will cover that as well. All right. So this is the definition of goods. Now we have started with the definitions. We have done buyer, seller definition. Now we're going to do the definition of goods. So goods, subject matter, kya hai sale of goods. Humne bechna kya hai? Goods are something which we are going to sell. We have to talk so much about it. We have to sell, 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 we have to sell. अब हम बात करेंगे गुड्स होते क्या है व्हाट आर गुड्स गुड्स आर मूवेबल नंबर 1 मैम यू ऑलरेडी टोल्ड अस मूवेबल होने चाहिए इमूवेबल गुड्स आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ सेल्स हमने समझ आ गया टैंजिबल गुड्स आर आल्सो गुड टैंजिबल इन टैंजिबल रिमेंबर गुडविल पेटेंट ट्रेडमार्क समबडी इज आस्किंग आल्सो दैट इज आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ योर सेल ऑफ गुड्स Somebody is asking, they make a contract for free supply for one year. So, Mr. Liju, if you are making a contract for supplying the goods at a future date, it is an agreement to sell. Now, whether an agreement to sell is for future goods or contingent goods, we will cover that in further slides. Vivek Vivkash Khushwa is asking, if the buyer 
refuses to take the goods. So what happens if the seller breaches? What happens if the buyer breaches? Unit 4, we will be covering all that. What happens over there? But I'm glad you're all using your brains. But again, restrict your brains till the definitions what we are doing right now. Otherwise, we will tend to cover the entire syllabus only in one day and many things will be left in between. So let's concentrate one by one on each step. Step by step, we'll be moving ahead. No, Ravina, services are not included for service. Goods service after GST is now applicable. Services are not part of goods. So goods are movable goods. Number one, I was telling you, goodwill, patents, trademarks are also considered as movable goods. Point number two, things forming and attaching part of land. A crops kya hote? something that you have grown. Okay. Your wheat, barley, rice, all the crops that you grow. Grass. Grass is ghas. You can use ghas ko aap tod kar bech sakte ho na market. Mein. Aap trees ko kaat kar market mein bech sakte ho. Aap crops ko kaat kar farmers sell the crops in the market. Sale of goods is applicable. Something which can be severed from the land. Severed means can be separated from the land. So as far as the things which can be separated from the land, fasal hoti hai, crops means jo fasal aap ugaate ho, usko agar aap tod kar market mein bech rahe ho, grass ko bech rahe ho, trees ko bech rahe ho, all these kind of things are goods. Because although they are attached with the land, but they can be plucked and separated from the land. You're selling your stocks in the market. Yes, ma'am, that is also goods. You're selling shares in the market. That is also goods. Contract for the sale of cone mine or building stone query is not a contract of sale. Why it is not a contract of sale? My students know now, ma'am, because it is immovable property. Old mine, jaha pe koela ban raha hai, waha puri jo mine hai, jo site hai, jaha pe ye sara kaam chal raha hai, us site ko agar aap bech rahe ho, to wo immovable property. Building stone query means the aisi jaga jaha pe stones ki craving carving kari jati hai for the construction purposes. बड़े बड़े पत्थर वहां जहां आते हैं कंस्ट्रक्शन के लिए उनकी फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क दे गेटिंग रेडी सो ऑल दैट ह्यूज बिल्डिंग वेयर ऑल दीस कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट्स आर ओवर अवेलेबल दीस आर ऑल इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टीज दे आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ सेल क्लियर हो गया एक तो इमूवेबल गुड्स आर नॉट गुड्स एंड अदर टू थिंग्स व्हिच आर नॉट गुड्स आर एक्शनेबल क्लेम्स एंड मनी कैन यू सेल मनी इन द मार्केट कैन आई से प्लीज बाय 500 रुपीस नोट्स can you give me 2000 rupees in exchange of 100 rupee note can you sell money in the market no ma'am money is never a good money is used for buying the goods absolutely correct but old currency notes if you're having you're selling such kind of things in the market somebody had a hobby of collecting uh, collecting these kind of things you're selling it to someone else that can still be considered as goods but money which is in circulation of uh, 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 which is in circulation, that means the money that you're using for buying the goods in the market, that cannot be considered as goods. Now, what is actionable claims? Actionable claims means a debt. For example, a debt, just kick against action, you know, something against which an action can be taken. So, let's understand what is the meaning of a debt. Debt means, you have so can you sell that debt? I have taken money from someone. I am a debtor of someone. I have to pay him. So can I sell that debt? That debt is not uh, sellable. You cannot sell it. It's not good. Okay, so such kind of transactions where any action has to be taken. Now, what is the meaning of actionable claims? So children, let's understand, pay attention. There are two types of debts. One is a secure debt and another can be an unsecured debt. So you went to bank and you took a loan of 1 lakh rupees from bank. What did you do? You took a loan of 1 lakh rupees from the bank. So bank said you're taking huge loan from me. Why don't you mortgage or pledge your gold with me? So you pledged gold worth rupees 1 lakh with the bank. Now what is this transaction? This is a transaction of secure debt. You have given certain security and you have borrowed money. That is a secure debt. But if I don't give any gold in return and I just borrowed money from a bank or maybe from Mr. XYZ, I have taken a loan of 1 lakh rupees and I said I will be paying it later. So this is unsecured debt. Now what will the bank do? If you do not make the payment, the bank will take you to the court and he will file an action against you. So now this is known as actionable claim. I have to take an action to recover this claim money from you. 
that is the meaning of actionable claim so all these kind of debts where the actions can be taken these kind of debts cannot be sold to another party you can assign your debts but you cannot sell it in the market so when we cover assignment succession you will understand this thing better so debt is another thing which is not a good all right now let's move ahead so we have understood the definition of buyer seller and goods now we are going to do the classification of goods for you so buyer and seller is another term which is written in the study material they are very complementary to each other so when we go to the study material we will understand what is the meaning of they complement each other means uh, you cannot sell the goods to yourself you have to have two parties in order to make it a complete sale all right Uh, so classification of goods goods are further divided into three category existing goods future goods contingent goods existing goods means mere paas hai jaise aap ye dekh rahe ho ye shopkeeper ke paas tide pampers bonte dura cell all these kind of goods they are available in the market you go and you pick up one i want a uh, bottle of tide which is available in your shop you purchase it and you pay for it existing goods so already dukan mein dikh rahe hai jo available hai and you purchase future goods i told you please mr anand come back after 10 days your goods will be produced in my factory seven size shoe will be made it will come to my retail shop and you buy it future goods hai abhi nahi hai baad mein aa jayenge usko bolte hain future goods contingent goods what is the meaning of contingency you have done contingent contract do you know the meaning of contingency yes uh, mr Balabhneni, Balabhneni. Okay, this is how you pronounce your name, Balabhneni. Uh, if coal mine is not a contract, sale of coal is definitely a contract of sale because you can sell the coal, but you cannot sell the entire mine under sale of coal. That is correct. Yes, Imanshu, money cannot be considered as uh, goods because you are paying money for buying the goods. Viv, uh, Vivkesh, illegal goods are never covered under sale of goods. You must have done illegal contracts are void and null. They cannot be enforced. Again, the types of contracts which you have covered under Indian Contract Act, same provisions are applicable to sale of goods also. Ah, uh, Nishi says contingent means futuristic. FDRs are good, Mr. Kharat, Theman. FDRs will be good. Okay, so. uncertain event shubham is also saying uncertain a contingency means something which is not sure something which might happen something which might not happen so if i told mr a that mr a tells mr b that i will sell you the goods for rupees 10000 only if it rains tomorrow can i say i have attached a contingency to it although weather forecast we have nowadays you can say that children at times debate with me ma'am nahi nahi hum weather dekh lenge hame pakka pata lag jayega kal barish honi hai to hum goods bech denge ho sakta hai aapne weather forecast dekha aur aapne bola ki kal barish hogi to i will sell you goods barish nahi hui ab agar nahi hui to you will not sell it there is a probability of it might happen it might not happen something which is not in your control something which is out of your control goods are coming in the ship ship might reach the port ship might not reach the port contingency is involved uncertainty is involved humne dekha nahi hai us future ko future goods pe bhi humne dekha nahi hai but yahan pe hum sure hai future goods mein mujhe pata hai maine seven size ka order de diya hai 10 dino ne maine to 12 dino mein aa jayega mere paas i am sure about it my factory outlet is working on that contingent goods uncertainty contingencies involved i'm not 100% sure whether it will happen or not so that category of goods is known as contingent goods when we do the examples in detail you will understand so let's start with existing goods existing goods are further divided into three different categories let's do the type of goods after that we'll take a short break all right now your favorite existing goods ko maine kaha tha three categories mein divide hote hai specific uncertain and uncertain to pehle hum sirf existing goods ki taraf dhyan de so out of the existing goods the first one are the specific goods 
goods which are identified and agreed upon at the time of contract of sale is made. Specific goods में एक line लिख लो. The goods where there is no replacement is possible. Specific goods are the goods where no replacement is possible. Buyer is very very specific. Buyer is very sure that this is the good that I bought. ये है तो मैं ये खरीदूंगा ये नहीं है तो मैं नहीं लूंगा अब चलते हैं आपके फेवरेट डेरी में चॉकलेट एग्जांपल के ऊपर व्हाई आई हैव पेस्टेड दिस पिक्चर लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू हु हु लाइक्स चॉकलेट्स इन माय ग्रुप किसी को भी ले लेते हैं मिस uh, लक्ष्मी भी लक्ष्मी ओके okay. चॉकलेट खाने का मन कराया तम्बेश्वरी कह रहे हैं चलो तम्बेश्वरी को ही लेते हैं तम्बेश्वरी एंड लक्ष्मी बोथ वेंट टू द शॉपकीपर एंड दिस सेड मैम Uh, we want a chocolate which should be a dairy milk chocolate. So dairy milk is of Cadbury. We want Cadbury dairy milk chocolate, and it should be of Oreo one, and it should be of peanut butter flavor. Oh my God! So much specification in one single chocolate. They want the Cadbury dairy milk chocolate. They want it should be an Oreo chocolate which should have peanut butter flavor. बड़ी exclusive chocolate उठाइए आपके लिए ताकि बहुत ज़्यादा स्पेसिफिकेशन हो पाए वरना नॉर्मल डेयरी मिल्क तो आपको मिल ही जानी थी मार्केट तो यहाँ पे बोथ दी स्टूडेंट्स अम्बेश्वरी एंड लक्ष्मी आर बीइंग वेरी स्पेसिफिक दे हैव टोल्ड मी मैम दिस इज द चॉकलेट आई वांट सो आई टोल्ड दीज किड्स लिसन आई हैव डेयरी मिल्क चॉकलेट इन ओरियो फ्लेवर बट इट हैज ओरियो बिस्किट फ्लेवर दिस से नो 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 मैम ओरियो पीनट बटर फ्लेवर सो दिस इज दैटेगरी ऑफ Specific goods. You have given two detailed specification of a product, and you only want that kind of product. There is no replacement to it. Another example: You went to the shopkeeper and you said, "I want one plus knot, which should be seven inches long, and it should have this kind of metallic body." You have given your entire specification, and you only want that particular type of product. That is known as specific goods. एक होता है सेल ऑफ गुड्स एग्जिस्टिंग है मेरे मेरे पास अब ये गुड्स होने चाहिए सो आई टोल्ड यू आई हैव फाइव डेरी मिल्क चॉकलेट्स फाइव आर फ्रॉम ओरियो बिस्किट फ्लेवर टू आर फ्रॉम ओरियो पीनट बटर फ्लेवर एंड दे वर लाइंग इन माय शेल्फ आई पिक देम अप एंड आई गिव इट टू यू सेल ऑफ स्पेसिफिक गुड इज कंप्लीट यू आस्क फॉर समथिंग सेलर हैज गिवन यू द सेम थिंग The goods are identified. They are sure. They are agreed. हमने सामने देख लिया है. हमें पता है वो available है. आपने book shelf से उतार अपने shelf से उतार कर हमें दिया sale करा contract for sale. Clear हो गया specific goods. Very very detailed specifications are given over here. No replacement is possible. ये points आपने लिख लिए. Now let's move ahead to ascertained and unascertained goods. Now this is a different category of goods. these are the words which you feel little difficult when you hear for the first time but they become very very easy once you understand a certain goods are the goods which are identified after the agreement of contract is made these have to be separated from the bulk ek bari likh lo specific mein aapne likh liya tha the goods which are specific details are given and there is no replacement a certain goods mein likh lijiye the goods which are identified after contract is made and these are the goods which are separated from the bulk we will be doing each and every word from the study material also but as of now keep writing whatever i am telling you right these are the goods which can be separated from the whole bulk so you told me ma'am we want to buy one bag of rice and i had Hundred of bags of rice lying in my shop. So you said we want to buy one bag of rice out of the hundred bags of rice. Uncertain goods which are not specifically identified. So uncertain goods means the goods lying in bulk. Bulk means zada sara. Bulk means sara samane katha pade. So hundred bags of rice jo meri shop me pade hai, they are uncertain goods. You said I want that one particular bag of rice. I picked up one bag and I separated it. It become a certain goods. So unascertained is certain. का मतलब होता है unascertained means unidentified. 
इकट्ठा पड़ा है अभी मालूम नहीं है कौन सा ट्री असर्टन मीन्स आइडेंटिफाइड जिसको हमने उठाकर सेपरेट कर दिया वो बन गया असर्टन ग्रुप जनरली असर्टन एंड स्पेसिफिक आर्ट ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर बट असर्टन आर टू बी पिक्ड अप फ्रॉम द लॉर्ड एंड सेपरेटेड देन इट बिकम्स असर्टन गुड्स आइडेंटिफाई कर दिया सो इंग्लिश में इसका सिंपल मीनिंग हो सकता है असर्टन गुड्स आर दो बिच आर आइडेंटिफाइड अनअसर्टन मीन्स अनआइडेंटिफाइड दे आर लाइंग इन ह्यूज बाल ओके लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड so these are the examples of specific and asserted goods now a has 10 cars and he wants to sell one of the car that is or to a t 8800 number bhi de diya ye itni sari mere paas 10 maruti car khadi hai but jis car ka number a t 8800 hai i want to sell that car to you is it a specific goods children definitely ma'am you have pointed out you have fixed you have specifically told this white color maruti car which has this number this is i'm going to sell so this is a specific good you have given the entire specification but if a owns 10 maruti cars and he wants to sell one out of them so any one i want to sell now i have not specified so i take out one and i keep it out this is a certain goods जिसको मैंने कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बनाने के बाद आइडेंटिफाई कर यहाँ पे स्पेसिफिक गुड्स में एट द टाइम ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आई एम आइडेंटिफाइड फिर से लिख लो स्पेसिफिक गुड्स वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड एट द टाइम ऑफ मेकिंग द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अ सर्टेन गुड्स आइडेंटिफाइड आफ्टर मेकिंग द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड अन सर्टेन आई सेट आई वॉन्ट टू बाय वन कार आउट ऑफ टेन बस इतना ही बोल दिया तो वो सारे जो गुड्स इकट्ठे पड़े हैं टेन कार्ड्स जो इकट्ठे पड़ी हैं वो है अनअसर्टेन गुड्स लेट्स मूव टू फ्यूचर गुड्स ए टोल्ड बी दैट आई विल बी सेलिंग यू वन थाउजेंड क्विंटल ऑफ टोमैटो विच विल बी ग्रोन इन माई फील्ड आप कोई बोलेगा मैम ये इलीगल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट तो नहीं है क्योंकि आपने तो अभी ग्रो करना है ये सो so, इलीगल नहीं होना चाहिए यू आर नॉट सेलिंग सम ड्रग्स और सम काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स विच आर टू बी यू नो अवेलेबल इन फ्यूचर दैट इज इलीगल दैट के नॉट बी अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वैलिड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बट इफ यू जस्ट सेइंग दैट दीज आर द टोमेटोज और दीज आर द पोटेटोज विच विल बी ग्रोन इन फ्यूचर एंड आई विल सेल इट टू यू देन दैट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट वैलिड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट और ऑल द मिल्क दैट द काउ विल यील्ड so again the cow will be yielding they're giving him good food to eat cow will be grazing the grass and giving the milk everyone is sure about it okay in future whatever the quantity will come we will sell it in future we are agreed that itne quintals of tomatoes will be grown we will sell it so today i'm not selling it do i have the tomatoes today no ma'am do i have the milk that the cow has yielded as of now today no we are saying during the coming year so the goods are yet to be manufactured the goods are yet to be produced are known as future goods and future goods ke liye hum sale karenge ya agreement to sell karenge for future goods we will have sale or agreement to sell tell me for sale we will have now for future goods we will have Yes, no substitute is available in specific goods. That's absolutely correct. Because she is asking, ma'am, sections. याद करने हैं तो बेटा इन C A foundation sections are not compulsory. If you can write the correct section, then you can write. Otherwise, please avoid writing the wrong section. आपको section याद है तो आप लिख दीजिए. Definitions generally section two में होती हैं. आपको सब section नहीं याद आ रहा मत लिखो. गलत section कभी नहीं लिखना है. आप नहीं भी लिखेंगे तो also it's fine. कोई बात नहीं आना सर्टेन गुड्स हम एक बारी उसमें से एग्जांपल लेकर भी करेंगे मिस रिति एंड अविद अवध अवध शिंदे मिस्टर शिंदे दिस इज द इजीएस्ट टू प्रोनाउंस योर नेम आई कांट प्रोनाउंस इट करेक्टली अदरवाइज वी विल डू इट फ्रॉम द स्टडी मटेरियल आल्सो एग्रीमेंट टू सेल ऑल ऑफ यू हैव रिटन एक्सीलेंट रजेंद्र शेख बिपिन सूर्या चंदन सचिदा वलवनेनी 
मोहम्मद रुचिका ऑल ऑफ यूर करे गुलशन निशी एग्रीमेंट टू सेल होता है फ्यूचर गुड्स बिकॉज ये अभी आए नहीं है एंड कंटेंजन गुड्स का भी क्या होता है बेटा हमेशा फ्यूचर गुड्स एग्रीमेंट टू सेल होता है कंटेंजन गुड का एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं पी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टू सेल फिफ्टी पीसेस ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल प्रोवाइडेड द शिप अब ये देखो इसमें शिप की पिक्चर लगाई है मैंने कि ये शिप में होते हैं गुड्स सारे मेजर एग्जाम्पल कंटेंजन गुड्स का है कि सी से गुड्स आ रहे हैं अब अरेबियन सी में शिप आपकी चल रही है एक पोर्ट से दूसरे पोर्ट में पहुंचनी है शिप डूब भी सकती है वेदर खराब भी हो सकता है गुड्स खराब भी हो सकते हैं सो अनसर्टेनिटी इन्वॉल्व है है ना लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस है सी uh, कंडीशंस कैसी रहती है वेदर कैसा रहता है तो बहुत डिपेंडेंसी है इनकी अनसर्टेन सिचुएशन में इस केस में हम कहते हैं कंटेंजन गुड्स ओके सो कंटेंजन एंड फ्यूचर गुड्स का uh, एक इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल और लेते हैं एक इजी लैंग्वेज में समझते हैं ओके लेट्स टेक इट लाइक दिस सो मिस्टर मिस नैन्सी मिस नैन्सी सेड दैट ओके ऑल माय सीए फाउंडेशन स्टूडेंट्स इफ आई क्लियर माय फाउंडेशन ग्रुप आई विल गिव यू अ पार्टी सो इन जून यू हैड योर एग्जाम्स एंड से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन जुलाई योर रिजल्ट वॉज टू कम एंड शी सेड ऑन थर्टीन जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एवरी दिस रेस्टोरेंट आई विल बी गिविंग यू अ पार्टी so now miss nancy has attached a condition if i pass my exams now all his friends reach the restaurant on 13th july so there is a probability nancy will come or she might not come depending upon her result so here contingency is involved usne kaha main pass hungi to main aaungi nahi hungi to main party nahi dungi so let's take an easy example and let's make nancy happy nancy passed and she came and the friends met and the contingent goods agreement to sell actually happened This is I'm taking on a lighter note. You have contingency का meaning समझा रही हूँ इसमें sale नहीं involved है. So यहाँ पे एक situation involved थी result कैसा आएगा contingency is involved. Another example, Sania Khan. Sania said, okay today it's twenty seven January. On third February I will be giving you a treat at Starbucks. All of you reach on third February at Starbucks. It's my birthday. Say for example, Sania has read this. Now. uh now uh, abhidu is writing thank you ma'am for the party if we pass definitely you all will be parting once you pass that's for sure so now in this example sanya has said on 3rd february it's my birthday please reach at 4 pm at kaha uh, kaha aaye the hum starbucks for coffee so everyone goes there it is a future agreement that i have made on that date she will be doing it now here the control was in sanya's hand she can write also in the morning i am not feeling well or i have some work this is a kind of transaction which is in her control but the transaction that i mentioned about nancy that was dependent upon certain condition whether she passes or whatever happens then only she will be given the treat so this is the understanding of future word and contingent word in future we are 100% sure that we are going to do this event or we are going to 100% sure we are going to sell this goods abhi example ke liye samjhaya main sale ke liye कंटेंजेंसी शिप से गुड्स आ रहे हैं शिप पहुंचेगी तो गुड्स पोर्ट पे लैंड होंगे हम सेल करेंगे अगर शिप नहीं पहुंची सिंक हो गई है प्रॉब्लम हो गई है तो कंटेंजेंट गुड्स का एग्रीमेंट टू सेल भी कंप्लीट नहीं हो पाए सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस जस्ट गो थ्रू वट एवर वी हैव डन फ्रॉम द स्टडी मटीरियल एंड आई टेक अ स्मॉल ब्रेक ओवर हियर एंड देन वील स्टार्ट रीडिंग फ्रॉम द स्टडी मटीरियल एज वेल थैंक यू
All right, students. Let's go through the study material also once. We have already seen these topics from my presentation. So for agreement, we need to have two parties, buyer and seller. So if I ask you that, can I, uh, this is my water, water bottle. I am the owner of this water bottle. Can I sell this water bottle to myself? The answer is absolutely no. So I need a buyer in order to sell my goods. So if ever I'm the seller, I cannot buy my own goods. I always need another party to buy my goods. That is what we understand from the term that the buyer and seller are complementary to each other. If I'm making tea, I need tea bag for it. If I'm making coffee, coffee cannot be made without the coffee powder. Tea cannot be made without the tea bags, tea leaves. Similarly, sale cannot happen with the buyer being alone or the seller being alone. Both are complementary. Just chai ke liye chai patti complementary hai, aise buyer and seller ek dusre ke liye complementary terms hai. Ab yahan pe complementary hai, ye complementary wo complement karne wala nahi hai. Hum kisi ko compliment dete hain, bahut achhe lag rahe ho, you are very nice. That is compliment, that is C-O-M-P-L-I. Here it is C-O-M-P-L-E. Complementary means ek dusre ko मतलब एक दूसरे के बिना इनकम्प्लीट है बायर सेलर के बिना इनकम्प्लीट है सेलर बायर के बिना इनकम्प्लीट है दोनों मिलेंगे तभी आप टू पार्टीज बना सकते हो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ सेल बनाने के हियर देर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जांपल ऑफ इंडियन पार्टनरशिप एक्ट व्हाट हैपेंड वंस वाज दैट द पार्टनरशिप फर्म वाज गेटिंग डिसॉल्व ऑल्दो आई ट्राई टू टेक अप दिस एग्जांपल इन पार्टनरशिप आल्सो बट मेनी अ टाइम्स द स्टूडेंट्स आर वेरी कंफ्यूज्ड बिटवीन द वर्ड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री so this example will give you more clarity so the partnership firm was getting dissolved and all the partners what do they do after dissolution they decided that we will uh, whatever assets we have we will divide it among ourselves so unka jo bhi furniture tha table tha stationery thi books thi wo usko sell off kar kar ek dusre mein divide kar dete sare parts to sales tax officer aaya aur usne bola acha aap sale kar rahe ho main aapko iske upar sales tax charge karunga क्योंकि आप तो सामान बेच रहे हो तो आपके ऊपर सेल्स टैक्स होना चाहिए तो इट वाज हेल्ड बाय कोर्ट दैट पार्टनर्स आर द ओनर ऑफ दीज गुड्स दे आर डिवाइडिंग द गुड्स अमंग देम सेल्स देयर इज नो एन अदर पार्टी दे आर द होल सेल ओनर देयर इज नो बायर एंड सेलर सो सेल्स टैक्स कुड नॉट बी चार्ज्ड सो दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ यू कैन नॉट बाय योर ओन गुड्स आप खरीद थोड़ ना सकते हो मेरे ही गुड्स है मैं अपना टेबल लाई थी फॉर्म चलाई है फॉर्म बंद हो रही है तो मैं अपना टेबल घर लेकर जा रही हूँ आई विल आई पे सेल्स टैक्स आई एम नॉट सेलिंग इट आई एम टेकिंग माई ओन गुड्स बैक सो नॉट ओनली द पर्सन हु बाइज बट ऑल्सो एग्रीज इवन इफ समन इज एग्रिंग टू बाय एंड सेल देन ऑल दे कैन बी अ बाय एंड सेलर बट द पर्सन कैन नॉट सेल द गुड्स टू हेम सेल्फ ओके ऑल राइट सो वी हैव डन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ गुड्स ऑल्सो लेट्स मूव अड Goods are all kind of movable properties. You have understood actionable claims. I have told you something which can be bought by an action or a suit. You have understood FDR is goods or not? Yes, ma'am. FDRs are good as per Section one seventy six of Indian Contract Act. So Section one seventy six. Maybe you know they have told you that FDRs are goods. Like fixed deposit receipt. I went to Axis Bank and bought FDRs. So tomorrow I want I can sell these FDRs to someone else also. Okay, na? Those are our FDRs paper. Hota hai, that can be sold. But uh, whether there are a document showing title document of title when we do the definition of document of title there i am going to explain you what happens over there goods are tangible and intangible both i told you tomorrow i want to sell my goodwill of the business or i have written a book and i have copyrights to that book they are also considered as goods hamara gas water electricity all these kinds of things are considered as goods ab aata hai decree of court isme problem aati hai bachcho ko what is the meaning of decree of court it means the order of the court what happens at times we have taken the orders from the court say for example mr a was a seller and he sell the goods to mr b the buyer mr a sell that said i will i will sell you these goods for 15000 buyer said no 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 i will not pay 15000 the goods should be worth for 12000 and they both had a fight on the price of the goods Now, when they had a fight on this price of the goods, they went to court. ऐसा ही होता है ना जब झगड़ा होगा तो कोर्ट में जाओगे लॉ तभी तो भरा है क्या आप कोर्ट में जा सकते हैं अगेंस्ट जा सकते हैं पार्टीज के अगेंस्ट कंप्लेन कर सकते हैं फिर कोर्ट जज जो डिसीजन लेगा वो फाइनल होगा तो यहाँ कोर्ट ने ऑर्डर पास कर दिया कि इन गुड्स का प्राइस होना चाहिए थर्टीन 
अब नाउ दिस इज नोन एज डिक्री ऑफ द कोर्ट मिस्टर ए हैज टेकन दर्डर्स फ्रॉम द कोर्ट सो वेन वी डू द चैप्टर अनपेड सेलर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ड इन अ मोर बेटर वे so as of now you can simply remember such kind of courts order are also considered as goods that means i can use it as a movable property for selling it to some other person any other person is giving the same price i can quote it as the order of the court for this certain kind of goods all right so this is the meaning of courts order decree of the court means order of the court they are also considered to be goods but debt is not a good action number claims may we have debt is not a movable property or goods it you cannot sell off your debt to another person so this is how you have to make your chart somebody was asking ma'am how the notes have to be made when you understood the definition color it with different pens orange se color karo goods ko uske andar likho movable property is a good green pen se likh do immovable property is not a good to make your subject interesting use different color pens different kind of notebooks so that and please have one separate notebook for law this is very important उसी में हम अकाउंट्स कर रहे हैं इकोनॉमिक्स भी कर रहे हैं एमसी की उसकी भी तैयारी चल रही है इट बिकम सो हॉच पॉच लेट्स बी डिसिप्लिन या आई वाज टेलिंग यू दैट टाइम वी डोंट हैव एनी पर्टिकुलर स्कूल एंड कॉलेज टीचर्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू चेक योर वर्क बट बी ऑनेस्ट टुवर्ड्स योरसेल्फ इफ यू आर डिसिप्लिन इफ यू आर मेकिंग द नोट्स प्रॉपर्ली टुमारो इफ आई हैव टू सेट फॉर माय लॉ सब्जेक्ट आई सिंपली हैव टू पिक अप दैट रजिस्टर एंड रिवाइज इट थिंग्स इट बिकम वेरी इजी अदरवाइज आजकल आप इतने टेक फ्रेंडली हो गए मोबाइल में लिखते जाओगे वही नोट्स बना रहे हो डोंट डू दैट चिल्ड्रन लेट्स फॉलो दी ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स ऑफ स्टडिंग लेट्स स्टिल आई प्रेफर दैट चिल्ड्रन शुड बी यूजिंग नोट्स नोटबुक पेन फॉर राइटिंग द थिंग्स दिस हेल्प्स टू इम्प्रूव योर फॉर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस ऑल्सो सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज हैव सेपरेट नोटबुक्स फॉर योर लॉ सब्जेक्ट कीप मेकिंग डाउन द नोट्स कीप राइटिंग डाउन द डेफिनेशन अंडरलाइन विद डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पेन्स ओके Now, existing goods we have already done. We have already done these examples also. So we have five models. We have told you. I want to sell you this Centro car only. Specific car has been told out. It has been identified and agreed. It is a existing good that is specific goods. A certain goods. Me, one thing more to tell you. The term a certain is not defined but judicially interpreted. Now, I told you many of the sale of goods terms. We have followed the Indian contract act only. सो इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में कुछ चीजों की इनकी डेफिनेशन थी जुडिशियली इंटरप्रेटेड का मतलब होता है कि हमने उसके यूज से समझा है इंटरप्रेट करा है अपनी लैंग्वेज में कोर्ट के डिसीजन के बेस पे हमने उसकी इंटरप्रिटेशन निकाली हुई है कि क्या इंटरप्रिटेशन होनी चाहिए सो एट टाइम्स अ सर्टन गुड्स आर ऑल्सो कंसिडर्ड इन द सेम सेंस एज स्पेसिफिक गुड्स यूजली वेन यू हैव टू पिक अप द गुड्स फ्रॉम अ होल लॉट ठीक है ना फ्रॉम अ होल लार्जर क्वान्टिटीज से जब आप सेग्रीगेट करते हो तो उसको बोल देते हैं हम अटन गुड्स नॉ पे अटेंशन वी विल बी डूइंग स्मॉल क्वेज फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री से होल सेलर ऑफ कॉटन हैज हंड्रेड बेल्स इन हिज गोदाउन एंड ही एग्रीज टू सेल फिफ्टी बेल्स एंड दीज बेल्स वर सिलेक्टेड एंड सेट असाइड सो हंड्रेड बेल्स पड़ी थी उसने कहा फिफ्टी बेल्स बेचनी है मैंने उठाई एंड अलग कर दी सेपरेट कर दिया वंस आई हैव सेपरेटेड सेग्रीगेटेड दे बिकम अ सर्टेन गुड्स व्हाट कैटेगरी ऑफ गुड्स इज दी हंड्रेड बेल्स ऑफ कॉटन व्हाट इज द कैटेगरी ऑफ गुड्स फॉर दी हंड्रेड बेल्स ऑफ कॉटन रवीना एफ बी इज गुड थैंक यू मिस्टर अंश I'm glad you have understood that point very nicely. Complimentary, huh? And thank you for those who have written. You are enjoying the classes. I'm glad to know that. Yes, you can ask your doubts here only itself. Mr. Hemant, you can continue as and when you are completing the subject. Just keep revising along with the teachers. Excellent! It is on a certain good. Somebody is writing it is existing good. So existing to hai hai very good, but under existing goods, it falls under the category of unassertion goods. Because she is writing fixed goods, fixed goods, nahi beta unassertion goods. So ye jo hundred category hai, mono apne galat likh hai assertion. Maine puchha tha hundred bales of cotton. so all those who have written 100 bales of cotton give yourself a patting all the uh, good well done good job done 100 bales of cottons are the unassertion goods kyun hai ye unassertion kyunki ye bulk mein lay kar rahe hain huge sara jo bulk hota hai abhi maine aapko bataya large quantity jo hoti hai wo unassertion goods hoti hai 
Okay, now let's move ahead. Hmm. Okay. अन सर्टन गुड्स ऑल्सो वी हैव डन दे आर डिफाइंड ओनली बाय डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ सैंपल जब आप बता देते हो तो गुड स्पेसिफाई हो जाते हैं ए एग्री टू सेल बी वन पैकेट ऑफ सॉल्ट आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड पैकेट सो हंड्रेड पैकेट आर अन सर्टन गुड्स बिकॉज इट इज नॉट नोन विच पैकेट इज टू बी डिलीवर्ड अब इतने सारे पैकेट पड़े हैं आई डोंट नो विच पैकेट यू वॉन्ट मी टू सेल सो दैट इज अन सर्टन आई एम लेट इट सॉरी अबाउट माई हेल्थ स्टूडेंट आई एम लेट लर्न वेल टूडे सो प्लीज बे विद माई broken voice so x has 110 horses he promises to sell one of them but does not specify which horse to sell so again it is an uncertain go 10 horses usne bechne hain usne bataya nahi kaun sa 10 horses mein se one i will sell to agar aapne nahi bataya to wo uncertain hoga bahut dhyan se in example 4 and 5 ko padhna descriptive questions mein examiner aapko is tarah ke question puchta hai कि वेदर इट इज सेल ऑफ विच कैटेगरी ऑफ गुड्स आर यू सेलिंग अटन और अन असर्टन नाउ लेट्स मूव टू दी फ्यूचर गुड्स फ्यूचर गुड्स आई टोल्ड यू दे आर येट टू बी मैन्युफैक्चर प्रोड्यूस और एक्वायर्ड बाय द सेलर मेरे पास आएंगे तो मैं आगे बेच सकता हूं ओके वी हैव डन दीज एग्जाम्पल्स इवन कंटेंजन गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑलरेडी डन ए कंटेंजन गुड का नाइन एंड टेन एग्जाम्पल एक बार दोबारा देख लेते हैं आई वॉन्ट टू सेल यू पिकासो पेंटिंग Provided he is able to purchase it. अब इसमें क्या हुआ ए ने बी को कहा कि आई विल बी सेलिंग यू अकासो पेंटिंग पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ पेंटिंग बट आई विल सेल यू ओनली इफ आई गेट इट फ्रॉम मिस्टर सी नाउ हियर आई एम अगेन डिपेंडेंट ऑन मिस्टर सी रिमेंबर वी वर डिपेंडेंट ऑन आर रिजल्ट टू गिव द पार्टी अगेन हियर आई एम डिपेंडेंट ऑन मिस्टर सी दैट ओनली इफ आई गेट द पेंटिंग फ्रॉम हिम देन आई विल सेल इट यू सो इट इज अंटेंजेंट गुड अगेन द पीसेज ऑफ 50 articles reaching when the the ship reaches the port, the ship reaches port, हमेशा जो भी एग्जाम्पल है वो हमारा कंटेंजेंट गुड्स की कैटेगरी में आएगा अब आ जाते हैं नेक्स्ट डेफिनेशन डिलीवरी ऑफ गुड्स वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी सिंपल सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिलीवरी चिल्ड्रेन चलो आपका इंटरेस्टिंग बनाते हैं थोड़ा सा और इसमें से चॉकलेट्स तो आपने बहुत खा ली अब पिज्जा खाएंगे मिस्टर वरुण ऑर्डर्ड मिस्टर वरुण है यहाँ पे एंड मिस्टर थैंक यू मिस्टर जेनेब मिस्टर जेनेब इज लविंग द लेक्चर दैट्स ग्रेट सो मिस्टर जेनेब एंड मिस्टर वरुण प्लेस एन ऑर्डर फॉर पिज्जा सो दे ऑर्डर द जोमेटो गाय एंड फोन भी नहीं करने की जरूरत है ऑनलाइन ऑप में मिस्टर जेनेब एंड मिस्टर वरुण प्लेस एन ऑर्डर फॉर पिज्जा एंड द डिलीवरी गाय जोमेटो गाय केम एंड डिलीवर द पिज्जा टू दे सो इज इट अ सेल ऑफ गुड Pizza is a movable property. Yes, ma'am. There was a buyer and seller. Varun and Zainab were buyer. The pizza guy is the seller. Through the matto, what did he do? He did the delivery. When the doorbell rings and both of them go and open the door and take the pizzas, what is said to have happened? Delivery of goods has taken place. अब इससे ज्यादा लाइव एग्जाम्पल और क्या हो सकता है आपने सेल ऑफ गुड्स घर बैठे बैठे ही कर लिया पिज्जा ऑर्डर करा डिलीवरी हुई these are the crux of the words understanding of buyer seller goods and delivery so delivery means ab isko technical language mein samajh lete hain delivery means voluntarily transfer of possession from one person to another voluntarily means freely ab pizza guy agar aapko delivery dena hi nahi chahta hai uski will honi chahiye na yes aapne order place kara for uh, which one you want mexican green wave from dominos he said no we only have chili paneer pizzas so the mexican uh, mexican green wave is not available only how can he deliver you that so his willingness his possession he should have possession means custody he should have that product with him na in order to deliver it to you so if he is freely ready to transfer the custody of goods from one person to another that is known as delivery ek se dusre ko समान पहुंचाना ट्रांसफर करने को बोलते हैं डिलीवरी बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज इट शुड बी डन फ्रीली हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट द वर्ड फ्री कंसेंट अंडर इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट देर शुड बी अ फ्री कंसेंट ऑफ द पार्टीज हु इज मेकिंग द ऑफर एंड गिविंग द एक्सेप्टेंस रिमेंबर द असेंशियल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ वैलिड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो इफ एट अ गन शॉट वरुण एट अ गन शॉट आस मिस्टर पिज्जा गाय गिव मी द पिज्जा आई वॉन्ट इट राइट नाउ Then it is not a free delivery. Then it is coercion. Remember, 
So sale of goods should be having all the essential elements of valid contract. There should be a free consent while giving the delivery. Quickly tell me when the consent is said to be free. Then we'll take a test. Lete. When is the consent said to be free? Okay. Yes, it means to give something to someone. Kinjal, Surya, absolutely correct, all of you. Hinal, thank you so much. Aditya, absolutely correct. Okay. Adhya, yes, it should be freely transferred. What is the meaning of free consent? Now I've asked you a question. Uh, yes, Varun, we can say uh, after the, he says that, uh, can we say contract of a certain goods or after the contract of un a certain goods? So un a certain means when huge bulk is lying, out of that we pick up and identify, then it becomes a certain. So that's absolutely correct. Sanya Khan, you have to refer, uh, if you are referring to the entire study material along with my notes, that is complete package. You don't need to refer to any other books. Yes, absolutely. Nishi is the first one to give the correct answer. All the others have also given correct. It should not be caused by coercion, undue influence, fraud, misrepresentation and mistake. Uh, Kharat and Manthan are saying consent means same thing in the same sense. That is the meaning of consent. I'm asking when the consent is said to be free, what are the five things the consent should be free from all these things? Then only the delivery is said to be a valid delivery. Devyansh, that is also absolutely correct. All of you have given the correct answer. Excellent. Because she is giving along with the sections also. So wonderful. Now, all those who are asking the meaning of possession, custody, we'll be understanding all these words slowly and gradually. As of now, possession means Somebody who is having the hold of those goods. Ek hota hai ownership. Just give me one minute, please. Possession of goods, ownership of goods. There are two different words. Ownership means I am the owner of this good. I have this pen in my hand and it belongs to me. Okay, let me explain you. What is the meaning of ownership and possession? Now, this is my pen. I purchased it from the market. I am the owner of this pen. I can break it. I can put it in my mouth. I can do it like this. Whatever I want, I can do it because I am the owner. I can gift it to someone else. I can write with it. I can break it. I can throw it. Why? Because I am the owner. I have free use to this pen. I can do what I want. I am the owner. Okay? See? I see AI. Yeah. Given this pen to me. So now this is my pen. Now another example. This is Mr. A's pen. I forgot to bring my pen for my exam. Or maybe for my... Uh, class, I forgot to bring my pen and I borrowed Mr. A's pen. Do I become the owner? I have borrowed Mr. A's pen. Pen kis ka hai? A ka hai. What is my duty? Use the pen, return it back to him. Can I break it? No ma'am. Good manners. It is Mr. A's pen. You are not supposed to break it. Can I put it in my mouth? Very bad manners. It is Mr. A's pen. How can I put it in your mouth? Very bad. So I am not the owner. I can only use it and return it back. So I am having the possession. I am only having the custody of the goods. I can only use it. I am not the owner. So ownership and possession are two different things. But when delivery of goods takes place, you become the owner as well as you possess that thing. Now it is yours. Okay, so when we go to the further chapter 3, transfer of ownership and position, there in detail we are going to talk about such kind of examples. Abhi ke liye aap yeh samaj jena, aap ka pen hai, toh aap owner hai, aap kuch bhi kar sakte hai, Mr. A ka hai, ya aapne borrow kara hai, toh aapko us purpose ke liye use kar kar usse return karna hai. You should use it for that purpose and return it. Means you only have the custody of the goods in your hand, you are not the owner. Okay. So when we go to the definition of property, again, this example will come up and the things will become more brighter. 
So I hope now the words transfer voluntary position, all words are clear. So delivery is made by doing something which has the effect of putting the goods in position. Buyer, seller, aaya, aapko pizza diya, ya fir gaadi aapne kari diya, gaadi aai, aapki darwaze pe khadi hui, aapko keys de di, to goods aapke ho gai. Aapne big basket se saman mangwaya, biscuits, chips, chocolates order kari, big basket guy came, rang the doorbell, given you the goods, delivery is set to do the goods. So there, there can be three categories of deliveries, actual, constructive, and symbolic. So all these examples are actual delivery when the goods are physically delivered to the buyer. You quickly ordered at Instamart. Ma'am has shown me a chocolate. I also want to eat it. Now just at a blink of an eye, the goods come. Blink it, you order place, kara, delivery charges lugging it definitely. But who, guy, he came to your house and he gave you that chocolate to munch. Physical delivery has taken place. That means this is the Actual delivery of goods. So actual delivery ka boti jab aapke doorstep pe delivery of goods, physically goods aapko de diye jate hai. That is known as actual delivery. This is the most common method of delivery. So you have clearly understood we have delivered n number of pizzas, biscuits, chocolate trips. So actual delivery is now crystal clear in your mind. Now kids understand symbolic delivery first. So symbolic delivery means doing as a token of transferring something. Maine abhi tak to delivery di thi. अब मैंने डिलीवरी नहीं दी मैंने कुछ ऐसा कर दिया कि डिलीवरी ऑफ गुड्स हो गई फॉर एग्जांपल आई गेव यू द कीज ऑफ द वेयर हाउस वेयर द गुड्स आर लाइंग सो देयर वाज अ बायर मिस्टर ए ही वेंट टू सेलर मिस्टर एस एंड ही सेड आई वांट टू बाय अ कार फ्रॉम यू सेलर सेड आई हैव अ कार एंड मिस्टर ए द बायर सेड आई वांट वाइट कलर सेंट्रो कार सो ही सेड आई हैव n number of centro cars in my showroom but they are black in color you can buy it from here he said no 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 i only want to buy white color so the seller said i have white one white centro car which is lying in my warehouse which is 10 kilometers away from this place i'm not having it right now so why don't you do one thing you take the keys of the warehouse and you go and get the car collected from there So Mr. A buyer made the entire payment, signed all the documents with the seller, and the keys of the warehouse were given to him, where the goods were lying. So here, has he physically delivered the car to him? No, ma'am. Has he given the actual delivery of goods? No, ma'am. But what kind of delivery has happened? Symbolic delivery has taken place. You have symbolized. You have given him the keys of the warehouse, or you have given him the keys of the car. The guy came to your house. He delivered the car and he gave you the keys. Once he has given you the keys of the warehouse where the goods are lying, or the keys of the car where the goods are lying, symbolic delivery has taken place. That means you're getting the possession of the goods. आपको goods दे दिए गए हैं, आपको physically नहीं दिए गए हैं, but आपको कुछ ऐसा कर दिया गया है जिससे goods आपके हाथ में आ गए. Or where the goods are in the transit, I have given you the document of title to the goods. Now this is again a huge definition which we are going to cover in today's class only. Document of title to goods means title means the word word title means ownership. And ये सब लिख लीजिए जो जो मैं आपको कह रही हूँ. Title means ownership. अब अगर मैं goods किसी को suppose मैं Delhi से goods Bombay भेज रही हूँ. तो अब Bombay guy को कैसे पता लगेगा कि transport authority मेरे goods लेकर आई है? So I will sign a bill. I will make a receipt. So I'm sending the goods to railway. I will make a railway receipt that look, my goods are loaded in the railway in Delhi, and I will send the original copy of signed copy of receipt to the buyer also in Mumbai. That buyer can go and show to the railway authorities that look, this is the railway receipt. My name, Mr. B. Buyer, is written over here. Please give me the goods. So here, the delivery of goods is taking place through transferring of the document of title to goods. Children, whosoever is holding this document is considered to be the owner of the goods. So, if you have the railway receipt in your hands and I have signed it and I have written your name, you can go to the railway authorities, show that receipt, and you can collect the goods. So, here the symbolic delivery has taken place. जब मैंने वो document sign करा, अब A ने goods B को भेजे, तो A ने document sign कर कर B को दे दिया. तो B A ने कौन सी delivery करी? Symbolic delivery कर दी. Goods तो railway authorities लेकर जाएंगी ना? बट सिंबॉलिक डिलीवरी हो चुकी है आपके पास जब डॉक्यूमेंट आ गया तो सिंबॉलिक डिलीवरी हैज टेकन प्लेस 
have you clearly understood actual delivery i drove the car i gave it to your doorstep i gave you the keys here is your car actual delivery has taken place i told you car is in the warehouse i have given you the keys of the warehouse go and get it collected symbolic delivery i have given you the document of title to goods whether it is a bill of lading or railway receipt in sab ki hum baat karenge abhi alag alag but document samajh liya aapne maine aapko bill de diya uska to aapko maine symbolic delivery kar li goods are said to be in deliverable state when they are in such condition that the buyer is bound to take delivery of it ye hum abhi alag se padhte hain buyer ready hona chahiye uski delivery lene ke liye then only the deliverable state will be counted but before that let's understand what is constructive delivery symbolic is clear to all of you let's go back to constructive delivery now constructive is somewhat related to symbolic delivery but it is different here the transfer is effected without any change in the custody or actual possession of the things goods bhi wahi ke wahi hai humne uski custody bhi nahi di aapko humne uski keys bhi nahi di aapko humne bill bhi nahi diya to humne kya kara humne uski custody and actual possession change nahi kari but aapko goods transfer ho gaye kaise ho gaye by acknowledgement by atonement you know the meaning of acknowledgement when teacher is teaching you and uh, she is teaching you in a classroom and she asks you students have you understood to hum kya karte hain yes ma'am aise karte hain na sir hilate hain acknowledge karte hain acknowledge hota hai iska matlab acknowledge karna acceptance dikhana ki yes you have understood so ab kya hoga ab fir se ek story aayegi examples ko na ek story ki tarah learn kara karo understand kara karo kahaniyan bana kar law ko padhoge na bahut easy ho jayega So, फिर से एक स्टोरी सुनाती हूँ इसके केस में रेडी फॉर द स्टोरी ओके कंस्ट्रक्टिव डिलीवरी के केस में क्या हुआ वेयर हाउस मैन था मिस्टर सी ही सेड आई हैव द गुड्स एंड दे आर लाइंग इन माय वेयर हाउस गुड्स किसके हैं ए के हैं ए इज अ बायर ए इज अ सेलर जिसके गुड्स हैं एंड ही सेड ओके फाइन आई एम होल्डिंग देम ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ बी B is the buyer at A's request. पहले ये सब लिख लेते हैं. There is a warehouse guy, Mr. C, and there is a seller, Mr. A, and there is a buyer, Mr. B. अब क्या होता है? Seller <laughs> buyer बोलता है, I want a white Centro car. In symbolic delivery, I gave him the keys of the warehouse. I told him go and take it from there. Here. Mr. A told him that I have that car in my warehouse, but my warehouse guy will call you and he will tell you that look, this car I am holding on your behalf. जैसे मैंने अभी acknowledge करा था yes कर कर वो सिर्फ phone करेगा बताएगा that I am holding this car on your behalf. Come and collect it from me. ये किसकी request पे वो कर रहा है on seller's request. तो क्या हुआ होगा? सेलर मिस्टर ए है उसने सी को फोन करा ही शुड हैव कॉल्ड मिस्टर सी पहले इंग्लिश में बताती हूँ बिकॉज मेनी स्टूडेंट्स ऑन दिस चैट सो ए कॉल्ड अप मिस्टर सी एंड ही टोल्ड हिम लुक वेयर हाउस गाय मिस्टर सी आई हैव सोल्ड द कार दैट वाइट सेंट्रो व्हिच इज लाइंग इन द वेयर हाउस आई हैव सोल्ड इट टू मिस्टर बी यू कीप इट विद योर सेल्फ एंड व्हेन मिस्टर बी कम्स यू गिव इट टू हिम हु इज गिविंग दिस रिक्वेस्ट ए इज गिविंग दिस रिक्वेस्ट दैट लुक सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी सोल्ड दिस कार टू बी Now you call B and tell him that I am holding this car on your behalf. Now Mr. C will call Mr. B, sir. Your car is already sold. That car is lying with me. I am holding that car on your behalf. You can come and collect it for me. The entire construction of the delivery has been done. The contract has been constructed in such a way that delivery is set to take place. Constructive delivery. Construct कर रहा है हमने. एक्चुअल डिलीवर करना था गाड़ी घर आ गई कीज दे दी सिंबॉलिक डिलीवरी वेयर हाउस गाय कॉल्स यू एंड टेल यू हेलो आई होल्ड द कार ऑन योर बिहाफ कंस्ट्रक्टिव डिलीवरी हैज टेकन प्लेस ही हैज एक्नॉलेज्ड हिम अभी आपको मैंने बताया एक्नॉलेज कैसे करते हैं आपने बोला ऐसे कर कर हम एक्नॉलेज करते हैं इसने फोन कर कर हां जी बोलकर एक्नॉलेज करा हां जी हां जी आपकी गाड़ी मेरे पास है आप आके ले जाइए दैट इज नोन एज कंस्ट्रक्टिव डिलीवरी I hope no room for doubt is any more left. You are crystal clear with all these three types of deliveries. Still, when we do the MCQs, it will become more clearer. So it takes place when the person who is in the possession. Here, who was the person in the possession? Ma'am, Mr. C was in the possession of the goods. 
गुड्स किसके थे बिलोंगिंग टू द सेलर सेलर मिस्टर ए एक नॉलेज किसने करा सी ने एक नॉलेज करा बायर बी को दैट आई एम होल्डिंग द गुड ऑन योर बिहाफ सो कंस्ट्रक्टिव डिलीवरी टेक्स प्लेस वेन पर्सन पोजिशन दैट इज मिस्टर सी हुज गुड्स एज गुड्स इकोनॉलेजेस टू होम बायर दैट आई एम होल्डिंग द गुड्स ऑन योर बिहाफ प्लीज कम एंड कलेक्टेड कंस्ट्रक्टिव डिलीवरी हेज टेकन प्लेस हो गया आगे चलते हैं let's do another definition also from this and then we'll move ahead to the mcqs for today goods are said to be in deliverable state when they are in such a condition that the buyer can take delivery of them chalo bachcho se puchte hain example lete hain mr pavan yes this is bailment divyansh nishi absolutely correct that was the case of bailment where i was just holding the goods and i was not having the ownership excellent yes it is compulsory anil then only the warehouse guy will tell him then only the delivery has taken place uh yes uh, goods are not physically delivered they are just acknowledged and the other person has come and take the delivery okay now uh, let's take the name of mr miss nishi gar <clears throat> miss nishi gar came to me and she told me that ma'am i want a study table for my house which should be this inches long this uh, this much centimeter long and height should be this every all of the specifications has been given and we said that we don't have a study table right now uh, of the same similar size and measurements we will make one for you and you can come and collect it so the goods are not ready as of now so i am supposed to make the goods ready for miss nishi and when we will give her the date she will come and collect it now when the goods will be in deliverable when they are in such a condition means now i have made the goods ready as per the measurements whatever she wanted we should have a board for stick on notes for uh, the drawer for keeping my books and everything whatever specification she has given we have made the goods ready and we called up nishi nishi come now your goods are in deliverable state now it is ready to be taken so now she is bound to take the delivery of them ab uski responsibility hai uski duty hai कि वो आए और अपने गुड्स ले जाए तो इस तरह से गुड्स डिलीवरेबल स्टेट में होने चाहिए व्हेन वी गो टू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री देर इज होल सेक्शन थर्टी थ्री टू सेक्शन फोर्टी इन डिटेल अबाउट डिलीवरी ऑफ गुड्स अगेन वी विल बी मेंशनिंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पॉइंट एज ऑफ नाउ वट इज रिटर्न ओवर हेयर इट शुड बी क्लियर टू a contracts to sell timber and make bundles thereof the goods will be in deliverable only when he has put the goods in such a condition phir se kahani ab a ne contract kara ki main aapko timber bechunga timber kya hota hai wood hoti hai tree se hum kaat kar uski wood uske bundles banate hain wood logs hoti hai jaise so usne kaha tha ki i will take the goods from you only when you have cut the timber you have made the logs and then i'll come and take it from you. so now it is the responsibility of seller to cut the timber and make the bundles and then inform the buyer now the goods are in deliverable state please come and take otherwise unless the goods are not in deliverable state he will not come and take it because that is the agreement that is the contract which has been made it has to be completed up till that clear ho gaya let's move to another definition document of title to goods now i want all the eyes and ears here i will not be repeating it so pay attention because then you come up with n number of doubts in this but agar aap ek bar dhyan se samajh loge fir aapko bilkul doubts nahi aayegi fir main aapse questions puchungi aur aap answer karoge all right so title ka meaning kya hota hai jaldi batao abhi bataya tha title means ownership so all these documents bill of lading railway receipt lorry receipt transport document warehouse keeper receipt all these shows the ownership of the goods so let's take an example there was mr a who wanted to sell his goods from delhi to pune so when he wanted to sell these goods from delhi to pune to mr b he wanted to sell his goods to mr b in pune so he made four copies of railway receipt number one copy mr a will keep with himself 
Number two copy, Mr. B will be having. Number three copy will be given to the railway authorities. This railway receives copy. Number three will be given to the railway authorities. And number fourth copy will go to the accounts department for all the updation in this Mr. A's account. Now, this railway receipt, A has this railway receipt. He will go to the railway authorities. He will say, please take these goods to Mr. B at Pune. He will overload the goods and give a copy of receipt to Mr. Uh, to the railway authorities. Now, same copy is given to Mr. B in Pune. Goods will reach in Pune. Now, how will railway authorities know whom, whose goods are this, whom to deliver? Wo jaakar announce thodi na karenge, please come and take your goods. It's Mr. B's responsibility. He will go to the railway authorities. He will say, he will say that I have the same railway receipt. They will cross-check. Name of Mr. B's is written. Deliver the goods to Mr. B. The goods will be given to Mr. B. Why? Because Mr. B is holding a document of title to goods. This kind of document, a railway receipt, is the document which tells that this person, Mr. B, is the owner of the goods. Mr. B ne a ko payment kar diya, accounts department ke pas receipt chale ki hai, wo unki separate story hai, railway authorities ko ye nahi dekhna ki payment hoogi ya nahi hoogi, aapne Mr. B ko receipt diyo hai, to receipt Mr. B is the owner, railway authorities will straight away compare the receipts and give the goods to Mr. B. This is the use of document of title to goods, these documents are used for delivery of goods, for transferring the goods from one place to another. Now ma'am, what is bill of lading? Bitta, if the goods are coming by ship, we will use the word bill of lading. If the goods are coming by air, we will use the word airway bill. If the goods are coming by road, we will use the word lorry receipt. So these are different names given to the multimodal transport. Multimodal transport documents say that different, different modes of transport which you are using for the goods, for the goods, for the goods, for the goods, for the goods. But now what is dock warrant, what is warehouse certificate, what is war finger certificate, all these three categories, dock warrant, warehouse, war finger certificate are the documents used for loading the goods in the ship. So the ship will come, it might take for the ship to come to the port. So where will you store the goods? Now Mr. A want to uh, give the goods by ship. Now Pune, if we are not sending them, we are sending them Suppose we are sending them to another port. Se dusre port Goa mein agar ek port hai, to wahaan se hum export kare, bahar bhej rahe, kahi pe goods bahar bhej rahe. So, ab jab tak ship nahi aayegi, to Mr. A ko apne goods dock warrant pe rakhne hai, ke mahaan pere ek jaga bani hoti hai, godown bana hoti hai, and docks. So, they will keep their goods in dock. They will keep their goods in the warehouse at the, uh, uh, at the port. So, dock warrant will be issued when they keep the goods at warehouse, warehouse keeper certificate, warehouse will give one certificate that I am holding the goods. So, all these are having the ownership because goods unke paas hai. Then there is a finger certificate hai. in the ship. Certain boxes and drawers are made before loading the goods in the ship. They are kept in different walks. You have studied all these words in business studies when we were doing 11th, 12th in uh, commerce. You must have read about all these kind of words. They are only the words used for transportation of goods. Documents used for transporting the goods. So when you keep the goods in that walks, war finger certificate will be issued. So only once the captain of the ship will come, he will check entire things have been loaded nicely. He will issue a bill of lading. Same bill of lading will be given to the bill of lading has been issued to the uh, buyer at the different port where the ship is going. They will compare these receipts and the goods will be handed to the buyer. So all these are the names of the document. Number one. Number two, they are being used for the delivery of goods. Number three, it is done in the ordinary course of business. Mr. A is sending the goods for his house wedding or some function. That is a separate story. We are doing business over here. That is for what we are using the document of title to. So number one, all these are the names of the document. Number two point, aapne jo notes banane, uske liye points bata rahi. Number two, it should be used for delivering the goods. Number three, it should be done for the ordinary course of business. Number four, they give you the proof for the possession of the goods. These are the documents which give proof that this is the correct person who, to whom the goods have to be given. Tabhi toh humne Pune mein Mr. B ko diya na because ye proof de raha hai ki ye railway receipt pe iska naam likhe hai, isko de raha. And number five, the delivery will be done either by endorsement or by delivery. Number fifth point kya hai? Delivery will be done either by endorsement 
and the uh, this control will be given either by endorsement or by delivery delivery to tha jab maine aapko bataya a ne b ko goods diye railway receipt dikhai ya fir bill of lading ke through goods gaye ship mein uh, usne bill of lading receipt dikhai to humne delivery de di what is the meaning of endorsement ma'am let us understand the meaning of endorsement so this mr b had a further buyer mr c in pune he was in urgent need of goods he said i want your goods so mr b said look the goods are coming from delhi they are in the railway they are with the railway authorities once i will get the goods i will sell it to you mr c said no 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 i can't wait for so long why don't you make the sale today itself so mr b in pune will endorse the document us ke hath mein kya tha uske hath mein sirf railway receipt thi usne kaha mere paas ye railway receipt hai jab aayenge goods main aapko de dunga wo kehte hai ye railway receipt aap mujhe endorse kar do aapki jagah main ja ke goods le aaunga सो जैसे नेगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स अब आपके सीए फाउंडेशन में नेगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स भी है आप इंडोर्समेंट के बारे में डिटेल में भी पढ़ोगे बट अभी के लिए जस्ट सिंपल टच अप इंडोर्समेंट मींस टू गिव टू सम अनदर पर्सन टू एंडोर्स इट टू फर्दर अनदर पर्सन सो मिस्टर बी विल से इंडोर्स टू मिस्टर सी नाउ मिस्टर सी विल गो टू द रेलवे अथॉरिटीज एंड ही विल से दैट आई हैव दिस रेलवे रिसीट प्लीज गिव मी द डॉक्यूमेंट प्लीज गिव मी द गुड्स सो हूसएवर इज होल्डिंग दिस डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ टाइटल टू गुड्स शुड अंडरस्टैंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस डॉक्यूमेंट किसके पास भी ये डॉक्यूमेंट है उसको ओनर मान लिया जाएगा और उसको गुड्स दे दिए जाए अब आप मेरे से पूछो कि मैम अगर किसी ने चुराया है थेफ्ट करे तो थेफ्ट की प्रोविजंस में आपको पता है फिर क्रिमिनल लॉ भी आ जाएगा बीच में ऐसे नहीं कि हम चुराकर किसी के डॉक्यूमेंट्स ले जाएंगे ऐसे नहीं कर सकते बट ये लीगली इट इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट हुस एवर इज दी होल्डर ऑफ दिस डॉक्यूमेंट विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज दी ओनर ऑब्वियसली द क्रॉस वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ द नेम एंड अदर डिटेल्स विल बी डन बट दिस डॉक्यूमेंट गिव यू द राइट ऑफ दी ओनरशिप ऑफ दी गुड्स so now mr c will go and get the goods collected and without wasting time uh, mr b has made his sale without even actually receiving the goods that is the meaning of endorsement and another category is a document showing the title now what happens at times there is a document showing the title remember i told you fdrs i will be again taking the name of fdrs so fixed deposit receipts so what happens with the fdrs i have the fdrs in my name if you stole those fdrs and you go to the bank you will not get anything because that is the document which shows the title only the person who is named in that it belongs to that person however the document of title is of ownership anyone who has that document will be considered as owner similarly share certificate share certificate jiska naam likha hai usi ko hi owner mana jayega it is not a document of title means the person named in the certificate will only get the shares but it does not allow the person to transfer the shares mentioned by endorsement aap share certificate ko endorsement ya delivery ke sath transfer nahi kar sakte ho kyun kyunki wo document showing the title hai it is not document of title simple so let i think let's stop here the two definitions mercantile agent and property in solvent and price just go through them and we will be covering it sale and agreement to sell definitions we have already done in tomorrow's class we are going to in the next class whenever we meet we are going to understand their differences let's quickly uh, run through the points essential elements of the contract of sale or we can also do the mcqs as of now and we are left with 10 minutes i want to give you the time for doubts also so any doubts please feel free to ask okay i have three four mcqs for you five we can do today okay meanwhile if you have any doubts you can ask so we have just done the definition of delivery but before we proceed to the mcqs you can ask your doubts understood the topic nicely that's good adhya thank you surya yes anusha ownership title means ownership tameshwari delivery ko short mein samjhao abhi delivery ka question aap answer karoge aapko fir se clear ho jayega yes uh, uh, nitishree all these are the documents showing the title that means document of title to the goods dock warrant warehouse certificates all these are the document of title means that the document of ownership 
yes divya goel all the ppts which i am teaching you will be uploaded on the portal you can download it from there ravina is saying endorsement ka meaning hindi mein endorsement means maine aage kisi aur ko ye document de diya theek hai hindi mein iska matlab ye thank you so much avadha actionable claims okay don't worry i'll do it again agreement to sell is for future goods yes anusha that is fine okay now i've started getting the answers for it also okay shake all these admin shake jamil you can ask the admin related to queries to your institute itself if i sell the goods and if in the same bill received wrongly mr ranjit is saying if the bill has been received wrongly by another person he and definitely then the details have to be cross checked if something is criminally being done wrong then the actions can be taken by the law okay many of you have given me the correct answer for question number 3 before i have asked you also then also you have given me the answers so excellent i'm very happy joya atya juhi suraj nancy kundan samir tapaswini anand nishi all those who have given the correct answers sunil varun anjali aditya that is absolutely correct biswas mr biswas himant kundan so if a seller handed over the keys of the warehouse containing the goods to the buyer then it results in 100% correct answer is symbolic delivery that's absolutely correct it should not be constructive delivery because constructive delivery we have to have the acknowledgement okay all right let's move to another one this is fairly correct okay when did the sale of goods 1930 came into force thank you so much mr liju vargish contract of indemnity ravina when you do then you can understand it over here there sale of goods does not cover it okay diksha nusa riti vipin all of you correct priyanka hetal let's move to uh, anusha singh okay you're giving the answer for this one you have to write answer 4 ka aap agar de rahe ho to you have to give the options correctly so first july 1930 absolutely correct those who have given d is the correct answer earlier when you were giving cpt exams 3 years back then mcq questions used to come in force but these are just again since you are doing the act you should be aware about this kind of questions but uh, in final exams mcqs are never going to come in your ca foundation you only get the descriptive questions so why do we do mcqs why study material has mcqs so that you get the conceptual clarity of the subject that you have studied and quiz really helps to refresh you so again where you are thinking caps and answer me contract of sale of goods deals with movable goods money immovable goods or all of the above give me a correct answer for this now अभिषेक झा एग्रीमेंट टू सेल एंड सेल का हम दोबारा कल जब डिफरेंसेस डिस्कस करेंगे तो हम डिटेल में इसके बारे में बात करेंगे थैंक यू मिस्टर शिवा दुबे ऑप्शन डी वाज़ द करेक्ट आंसर एवरीवन एक्सेलेंट आनंद एंड वल्लभ नैनी हैज गिवन द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर फिफ्थ आल्सो दैट्स करेक्ट मोनू तनवी मिस्टर बिस्वास हेमंत दिव्य ऑल ऑफ यू करेक्ट so movable goods is the correct answer for this one so contract of sale deals with movable goods it never deals with immovable goods i told you for immovable goods we have transfer of property act money is never good sale of goods it money is always paid okay money is used for making the payment so make sure raj all the three answers are correct that's fine All of the above कौन कह रहे हैं रीति गलत है आपका आंसर मोहम्मद आपका आंसर भी गलत है बच्चे सेल ऑफ गुड्स हम सिर्फ मूवेबल गुड्स के साथ डील करते हैं इमूवेबल गुड्स कुंदन कुमार मनी इज द रॉन्ग आंसर मनी इज मनी इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग देमेंट्स अब दो तीन और आंसर करे इन जून एग्जाम्स नो 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 एम सी के क्वेश्चन कम्स इन एग्जाम मिस्टर खरत हेमंत एम सी के क्वेश्चन एग्जाम में नहीं पूछे जाते Yes, Riti. All of your comments are visible, children. There are three to four hundred students who are having the class live at the same time, and so many answers come. So don't expect me to take the names of all the students. Okay, now which section sale of goods defines buyer? 
quickly tell me it's not compulsory to learn the sections but you all know section 2 give you the definitions but which sex subsection defines to give you the definition of buyer you have to tell me quickly no it's not compulsory to learn the subsections but just for your knowledge since we have just done it today you should be having a good knowledge who is the seller who is the buyer so the definition of buyer is given under section 2 subsection yes mr morya the answers are correct morya valmike prasad all of you have given 6a that is section 2 subsection 1 absolutely correct buyer's definition is given in the first subsection that is section 2 subsection 1 absolutely correct and what is the definition of buyer children if i ask you quickly write down what is the definition of buyer buyer is the person who buys or agrees to buy the goods Buyer is the person who buys or agrees to buy the goods. So in, when he's buying, it is a sale. And when he's agreeing to buy, it is an agreement to contract of sale. Future goods are the goods to be manufactured or produced or acquired by the seller after making the contract of sale. True or false? Please read it very carefully. Future goods are to be manufactured, produced or acquired after making the contract of sale. Absolutely correct. Who have given the answer true. True is the correct answer. Future goods will be acquired only after the contract is made. So sketcher shoes, size number seven, Mr. Anand came to a shop. He said, I want to buy the shoes. Once he has made the contract of sale, then the future goods are to be manufactured. So future goods are absolutely coming into existence after the contract of sale is made. Okay, the term goods under contract of sale does not include goodwill actionable claims, stocks and shares, harvested crops. Read it carefully and answer. Which is not included under the definition of goods. And I remember one of you have raised the query also. Is ko ek bari dobara samjha bhi deti hu. Uh, no, uh, Abdul, it is like if future goods are to be manufactured or produced after. So that is the definition of future goods. It is not asking you whether it is sale or not. It is asking you whether it is the goods are manufactured after the sale has been made. So obviously in future goods, we always have agreement to sell, but that is the definition which was to be cleared over there. All right, question number eight. B point is absolutely correct. Actionable claims. And what are actionable claims? Many of you have raised a query also actionable claims. So one last time I'm going to take up the query of actionable claims. So goods include all the movable goods. Immovable property, our land building is part of goods. We have Actionable claims means, for example, a debt. Debt is what happens when you have to pay money. So, वो कहते हैं अगर आपने आपका कोई भी डेट है आपके नाम पे तो आप उसे सेल नहीं कर सकते दैट इज नॉट कंसीडर्ड एज अ अ गुड सो दे कैन बी टू टाइप ऑफ डेट्स इफ यू गो टू द स्टडी मटेरियल आई जस्ट शो यू इट सेज दैट अ सिक्योर डेट इज काइंड ऑफ अ एक्शनेबल क्लेम सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव टेकन मनी फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड फॉर 10000 रुपीस एंड यू हैव गिवन हिम योर वॉच इन रिटर्न ऑफ दैट सो दैट इज अ सिक्योर डेट that means some security has been given tomorrow. If you don't pay it back, it will be considered as a, uh, he can take an action against you. That means he can uh, sell off your watch and he can recover your money. So actionable claims are the claims which can be enforced only by an action or a suit. Now, if your friend has given you a house and you have 10,000 borrowed, and tomorrow if you do not pay the money, he will sell your house and he will recover your money. That's like that, right? तो ये सब चीजें जो जिसके अगेंस्ट आप एक्शन ले सकते हो सूट मींस आप कोर्ट में जाकर उसके खिलाफ केस फाइल करें व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फाइलिंग अ सूट फाइलिंग अ सूट मींस फाइलिंग अ केस अगेंस्ट अ पर्सन सो द सच केसेस वेयर अ डेट इज इन्वॉल्व जहां आपने पैसा बोरो करा हुआ है इट इज नॉट अ मूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी और गुड्स इसको आप बेच नहीं सकते मैं ये नहीं कह सकती कि ये जो मेरा डेट है मैंने किसी और को सेल कर दिया अब तू उसे पेमेंट पेमेंट आगे वापस कर सो 
एंड सिक्योर्ड अनसिक्योर्ड डेट्स क्या होते हैं अनसिक्योर्ड मीन्स वे यू हैव नॉट गिवन एनी सिक्योरिटी फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ मनी दैट यू हैव सो बोथ दीज काइंड ऑफ केसेस वे यू हैव बॉर्ड द मनी इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ डेट इट इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज अ मूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी इट इज नेवर अ पार्ट ऑफ सेल ऑफ गुड्स एक्ट यू कैन नेवर सेल योर डेट्स टू एन अदर पर्सन Also, in assignment in succession, if you'll refer to Indian Contract Act, you can assign your debt. Somebody else can recover it on your behalf, or you can pay it on your behalf, but it can never be sold to another person. All right. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed today's session, and we have done almost all the definitions, important definitions also. Mm, thank you, Ranjit. Thank you, Mr. Morya. And. Uh, Thank you, Nitya Shri. Somebody has again raised a point. Unit one sends an offer to fourteen thousand, but the condition does not reply. Treated as an acceptance, non-compliance. Ah, uh, so well, by any your uh, questions related to offer and acceptance. So it relates to in in contract and anything you have doubt in sale of goods, you can ask me today. Thank you so much, Miss Sanjali Patel. I'm glad you enjoyed your first session with me. Thank you, Nishi. Thank you, Kharat. Thank you, Hanal. Thank you so much. I will definitely take care of my health, and I hope I see you better in the next session. Thank you, Mr. Anand. Thank you, Nishika. Thank you, all of you. So, waiting to see you soon next. And what is your homework to be done? Whatever we have done till now, revise it and please make your notes and try to make your notes as colorful and interesting as possible. Thank you so much. See you in the next class on Tuesday. Goodbye, students.